Outdoor Voices founder Tyler Haney is stepping down as CEO as growth slows. Tyler Haney, the founder and chief executive of activewear label Outdoor Voices, has stepped down, the company confirmed for us this afternoon. The business of fashion, which first reported the news, said the transition follows a previously unreported capital injection from Outdoor Voices investors at a lower valuation than previous rounds. It says the company tried raising new funding late last year but had difficulty. We reached out to Hani directly earlier today, as well as board members from the venture firms that have backed the company, including General Catalyst and Forerunner Ventures. In the meantime, the company sent us the following, as we look to grow and to scale, Tyler Hani has transitioned from her role as chief executive of Outdoor Voices to a new position as founder. We have raised another round of financing from our current investor group to support our growth and expansion moving forward. Tyler will remain a member of the board of directors and will assist with the search for a new CEO. Until we fill that role, Cliff Moskowitz will serve as the company's interim CEO. Moskowitz comes from Interlux, a kind of private equity firm that works with fashion and luxury brands where he has served as president for the last six years, according to his LinkedIn profile. Boft cites executive turnover as an earlier indicator that not all was well within the company, suggesting that mismanagement was one factor that prompted Pamela Catlett, a former Nike and Under Armour exec, to leave the company months after joining as president last year. Retail legend Mickey Drexler, formerly of J. Crew fame, who was named chairman of Outdoor Voices Board in the summer of 2017 as part of a $9 million convertible debt round led by Drexler's family office, also resigned his position last year, though he maintained a director's seat. Operational challenges aside, according to Boff, Outdoor Voices has had trouble replicating the kind of excitement that met its earliest offerings, including flattering, color-blocked athleisure wear, like leggings, sports bras, tees and tanks. The company has since rolled out an exercise dress that has gained traction with some consumers, but newer offerings meant to extend the brand's reach, including solidly colored hoodies and terry cloth jogging pants that are less distinguishable from other offerings in the market, have apparently failed to boost sales. Indeed, according to the Boff report, the brand was losing up to $2 million per month last year on annual sales of around $40 million. The Boff story doesn't mention the company's brick-and-mortar locations and how they factor into the company's narrative. But certainly, as with a growing number of direct-to-consumer brands that have been encouraged by the bar for more on this story, visit the news article link.